thousands of miles away, the violence in Afghanistan impacting our community. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy is live tonight talking to local Afghans who are planning to take action here. Jamie. Yeah, good evening, Rick. The local Afghans I spoke to say that they are very scared about the deteriorating situation in Afghanistan. And while they will rally here on Saturday to show support for those trapped inside the country. The explosions in Kabul may be thousands of miles away, but Atlanta's Afghan community feels every one. I mean, at this point, it's almost all we talk about. We're scared. People have families, people have friends that are still over there trying to get out. The death of U.S. and Afghan civilians at Kabul airport only compounding an already tenuous situation as the August 31st deadline looms large. I mean, that's a deadline that uh, provides anxiety for people trying to get out. That's what we have to go by with what the government leaders are saying here and in Afghanistan. Afghans here have family members still in the danger zone among the thousands of people anxiously awaiting to get out. Governor Brian Kemp agreed that there should be no deadline when it comes to evacuating U.S. citizens and says we cannot forget Afghans who have aided America. We need to support those like the individual that walked around Afghanistan with General John King and with Tom Carden and helped keep them out of arm's way and help save American lives. The we Afghan community in Atlanta says we can expect to see some refugees here. There are people, uh, refugees coming to Atlanta. The goal is not to just uh, get them out, but for the ones who do, like for the ones who are lucky enough to get out, is to help them resettle. G getting out is only the beginning of the battle. The community has organized a rally and protest for this weekend to send a message that leaders near and far have a duty not to turn their backs on the dire situation. Uh, we've organized a protest. It is on uh, this Saturday, August 28th, two days from now, at Woodruff Park in Atlanta, Georgia. It is part of a worldwide uh, coordinated effort. Tell your friends, uh, look us up on social media. So Sikanda also tells me that as the 20 year 9-11 anniversary draws near, it's sad for him to see the catch country back to where it started from and hopes that lots of people will be out here this Saturday at Woodruff Park to let the country know that the world still supports them. At Woodruff Park, Jamie Kennedy for CBS 46 News. Jamie,